morning. Good morning. Anything uh, interesting in the paper? I want to see some exhibitions. Wow. Well, there's the uh, Tate Modern. Oh, yes. I'm going to that. Oh, okay. I'm meeting a ton. I want to see a few things. Well, you won't have uh, much time if you finish work at 7. I finish early. I'm uh, working from 9 to 1. Oh, I see. But I'm confused, though. There are many places to see. Uh, can I help you? Please. Okay, what are you more uh, interested in? Uh, literature, art, or history? I'm interested in uh, art and literature. Okay. Can I make a suggestion? Yes. Okay. The uh, Tate Modern closes late on Saturdays, uh -huh. uh, but uh, most of the other museums close around 5. So, okay, see here? Uh, I suggest you take yes. the tube to Barbican, then you go alongside here, uh, Aldersgate Street, Mm -hmm. and uh, left into the Museum of London. Okay. Okay. Oh, and, and right next to it is St. Paul's Cathedral. Oh. You must see that. It's very famous. Mm -hmm. uh, then you can walk uh, across the Millennium Bridge. There's uh, fantastic views of the uh, embankment uh, on the area around the Thames. Brilliant old and new architecture. Lots happening. I wish you could come too. So do I, Alina. Um, which street do I mm. take to the bridge? Oh, uh, you just go along here. Uh, you can't miss it. Oh, and then which direction? Uh, do I go straight here? Oh, uh, no, no. You, you should walk along the river here and then turn right, and that's called Queen's Walk. You'll see the Shakespeare Globe Theatre. Oh, Globe! Yes. <laughs> Um, I suggest you get to the Tate by 7. It's a big place. And you can catch the tube home from Blackfriars here or Southwark here. Sounds good. Thank you. I really hope you enjoy it. I think I will. Oh, hi everyone! Are you ready to learn some English? Well, today in our sitcom, Victor is helping Elena to plan her day. Doesn't it sound like fun? Visiting all those exciting places, lucky Elena. Well, today we are going to look at the word most. Most women like shoes. And the word must. You must see my new pair of boots. After that, we are going sightseeing in London, just like Elena. So I hope you've got your comfortable walking shoes on, because off we go. So, in the sitcom today, Victor said most museums close at 5, meaning the majority of museums. Notice how we use the plural with the word most. Most shops open at 9. Most hotels have room service. And also, most English people love drinking tea. Mmm! <laughs> that reminds me, I must buy some more tea. We use the word must to emphasize that we should do something. Victor said to Elena, you must see St. Paul's Cathedral. He said must because it's something he strongly feels Elena should do, because the cathedral is famous and beautiful. We must visit Stonehenge. We must go to the Louvre. We can also say something is a must, to mean it is something we must do or see. The Parthenon in Athens is a must. Okay, now, for something different, let's go sightseeing in London. London is full of amazing museums and galleries. I want to go see the Science Museum and the Natural History Museum. They are fascinating. And the Tate Modern and the British Museum. They have some of the most famous art in the world. We can go and see the beautiful bridges like the Albert Bridge and the Millennium Bridge. Ooh, and we must go and see the Tower. The Tower of London is wonderful. I think we might need to relax after all that. 
Maybe we could go for a picnic in one of the beautiful parks, Hyde Park or, or Richmond Park. Then, in the afternoon, we could go to some of London's famous churches and monuments. We can visit Westminster Abbey, the Temple Church, and the Albert Monument. What a busy day! And we haven't even been shopping yet. Okay, now let's look at how we can ask for directions. Excuse me, can you tell me how to get to the nearest bank? You go straight ahead and then turn right. Where is the nearest post office? Go up this road and turn left. And the nearest chemist? Take the second street on the left. Remember that in England they say chemist, and in America they say pharmacy. How far is the nearest cinema? How far is it? <laughs> It's not very far. Only twenty minutes on foot. We say on foot or by car, by bus, taxi, train, etc. So the cinema is twenty minutes on foot, and the theater is half an hour by bus. Now. Let's look at a couple of very useful expressions. Excuse me and sorry. We can say excuse me to get through a crowd to get to the tube, for example, or to ask someone for directions. We say sorry if we step on someone's foot. Do you see the difference? Well, now you know how to find your way around London. Good job. See you next time for another English lesson. Bye. Sure. Okay. Can you meet me at the library? Okay. Great. See you. Good morning. That was Sam. S Sam's my friend at St. Martin's. He's helping me with technical stuff for our exams. That's nice of him. <laughs> How was yesterday? Oh, the walk and the museum you suggested were fabulous. I loved the Tate. So did Chan. I'm glad you liked it. I also had a good day at work yesterday. Oh, what happened at work? Oh, they asked me to work in their cafe, the cafe upstairs in the video store. Oh, that's marvelous! Congratulations. I don't know. What do you mean? I don't know how to be a waitress. No, it's not very difficult. You don't think so? No, you'll be good at it. I will. Mm -hmm. Sure, you'll just have to learn the names of the things on the menu. Mm. What if they ask me questions? Do you have their menu? Yes, this is it. Uh, let me see. Okay, let's say I'd like something to eat. Oh. Mm -hmm. Can I help you? Yes, I'd like a hamburger. Oh. Uh, no, m make that a cheeseburger. Cheeseburger. Does the cheeseburger come with chips? I don't know. Let me see. Mm. Yes, it does. And uh, what do you have to drink? I'm having coffee. And not you, Elena. The cafe. Oh. <laughs> yes,、um, we have coffee, tea, fruit juices, soft drinks, and、uh, mineral water. I'll have an orange juice, no ice.、Oh, no ice. How much is that? Which? How much is the bill? My total. Oh, let me see. Twelve.、Uh, That will be. That will be twelve、uh, pounds and seventy-five. That's so expensive. I hope you don't say that to your customers. No, no. You will be great. You will make much more money in the cafe. I will. Sure. You'll make loads of tips.、Mm. Now I've got to run.、Um, bye. Bye. Good luck. You too. Hello, my lovely students. Welcome back to another lesson with me, Gabrielle. So, 
In our sitcom today, Victor helps Elena's English by practicing a restaurant dialogue with her. Isn't he kind? Lucky Elena. Well, today in our lesson, we are also going to study restaurant and snack bar language, as well as nouns that come from verbs, such as to paint, painter, and ways of talking about abilities, like I can or I'm good at. Okay? Let's get started. Right. Let's have a look at some verbs and the nouns that come from them. So, we have the verb to write. Someone who writes is a writer. Someone who dances is a dancer. Easy, right? Are you a good dancer? <laughs> I wish I was. Someone who drives is a driver. You just add ER to the verb. Now, these words are usually used for men and for women. A cleaner can be a man or a woman, but we do have a small group of words that are specific to one gender. For example, we have a waiter and a waitress. For the feminine word, we add ESS. So we have prince and princess. Actor and actress. See? Often we change the names of these jobs to a name that refers to both men and women. So instead of waiter or waitress, we can say server. Instead of air hostess or steward, we say flight attendant. Wow, you are even learning to be politically correct in English. What progress! Now, in our sitcom today, Elena said, I don't know how to be a waitress. This is a way of talking about our abilities in English. For example, I, well, I don't know how to dance. Oh, it's so embarrassing. But I know how to make marmalade. My husband Dylan doesn't know how to ski, but he can sing beautifully. Lady Coco is terrible at catching mice, but she is very good at uh, sleeping. <laughs> and I know what you are good at, speaking English. Yes, you are. Okay, let's go to our virtual snack bar. I'm hungry. How about you? Let's look at some food words. We could order a cheese sandwich, a ham roll, a chicken salad. What do you think? Hmm, I would quite like bacon and eggs. No, perhaps not. I need to watch my weight. Maybe I'll get a salad and some chips. But don't tell anyone. What about something to drink? A coffee? Espresso? A cup of tea? Some fruit juice? A soft drink? I think I'll have some sparkling mineral water with ice and lemon. Mmm, so refreshing. Okay, so that's one chicken salad, one portion of chips, don't forget they call them french fries in the States, and a glass of sparkling mineral water with ice and lemon. Oh, please, we mustn't forget to say please. Then, when we want to pay, we can say, how much is that? Or, can I pay please? Okay? Good! Well, all this talk of chips is making me hungry. I'm going to get a snack. Good work, and I'll see you next time. Bye! Hi. Hello. Um, did you accept that waitressing job today? Oh, yes, mm. I did. Thank you. How was your day? Oh, it was uh, normal. Did you study for your exams? Not exactly. What did you do? I made something. Oh. For you. For me? What is it? Open it.
It's a drawing of me. It's... You drew this? It's very beautiful. You're very beautiful. I'm home! Welcome back. Aggie, hi. How was your trip? Oh, we had a wonderful time. That's good. Uh, wh what was right like? The place was fantastic. <sighs> what did you do there? Did you go to the house? We had a tour of the Osborne house, yes. And the hotel was comfortable? Oh, yes. Harold didn't want to leave our room. <laughs> I'm sure he didn't. <laughs> what else did you see? Oh, the most fantastic shops, ceramics, craft works. I got almost all of my Christmas shopping done. So what's been happening here? What's new? Mm, nothing. nothing. I see. Hello, everybody. Wasn't that an exciting episode of our sitcom today? And how romantic. I can't wait to see what happens next. Anyway, today we are going to learn all about the past simple. First, the past simple of the verb to be. Then, of regular and irregular verbs. Yesterday, Dylan came back from a long trip in the U.S. and I was so happy to see him. And what about you? How was your day? Did you have fun? We will also look at how we ask someone to describe somebody else. For example, what is Lady Coco like? <laughs> She's cute. A lot of work, huh? Okay, let's go. So, in our sitcom today, Elena said, How was your day? Was is part of the past tense of the verb to be. We have I was, you were, he, she, it was, we were, you were, they were. He was very tired this morning. We were very happy to see you. Now, Victor painted Elena a picture. Painted is an example of the past symbol of regular verbs. We just add ed to the verb. I talk, I talked. You jump, you jumped. He wants, he wanted. Notice how the third person singular stays the same as the other persons in the past symbol. I finished, she finished. Easy, okay? But then we have the past simple of irregular verbs. I go becomes I went. I went to China. He went to Ireland. They went to work. Another example is the verb to fly. I fly. I flew. They flew to Singapore. The bird flew to the lake. To eat in the past becomes ate. To come, came. To bring, brought. To buy, bought. But you've probably already heard some of them. To make the past tense of the verb to be negative, we just add not or n apostrophe t to the verb. I wasn't happy. You weren't there. She wasn't angry. We weren't home. To make the verb interrogative, we just invert the subject and the verb. You were tired. Were you tired? He was late. Was he late? To make the other verbs negative, we have to add did not or didn't. I walked to the door. I didn't walk to the door. He kissed her. He didn't kiss her. We went to Rome. We didn't go to Rome. Do you see how we use the infinitive of the verb in these sentences? 
we don't need to put them in the past tense. The word didn't does that for us. To make these verbs interrogative, we add the word did before the subject. Victor painted it. Did Victor paint it? Yes, he did. She played the piano. Did she play the piano? Yes, she did. No, she didn't. It's not too hard, is it? Okay, finally, let's look at how we can ask someone to describe somebody or something. Elena asked Agatha what was ride like. We use what plus the verb to be plus the subject plus like. If I want you to describe your brother, I say, what is your brother like? He's clever, funny, and he has gorgeous blue eyes. Wow, what a man. What was the film like? Well, it was boring. What is India like? It's a huge country. Well, we've done a lot of work. Good job. Go and have a rest and I'll see you next time. Bye.